Hey everybody, you're listening once again to Made in Abyss Weekly with Best Guy Ever. That's me, hello people. Episode We're on seven. episode, yeah, seven. What did you there think of this episode, Nate? I'll let you start off, because I feel like I usually give my impressions first, and Mm-mm. it's your turn Okay. Now. Well, uh, so in general, definitely uh, much better than last episode. You know, things happened, yes. major revelations transpired. Um, I mean, uh, f- frankly, at the end, there were some things that really seemed to possibly be a major momentum halting like decision that I mm. am kind of worried about. I, I like it, things are happening that sort of make sense, but I'm a little concerned about how it's going to be like how, how we're going to be time management wise for the rest of the of this this season. Uh, yeah. But I mean, hey, all we can do is see. But meanwhile, like the things that happened in this episode, the things we learned, uh, the fight that happened, um, pretty good stuff, pretty good. And uh, I mean, there were some bombshell revelations that uh, we'll get into. So this this was a good episode that makes me a little. It gives me a little bit of trepidation, but uh, yeah, I, I I wanted to get your impressions first because I feel mm-hmm. like that's the more normal reaction than what okay. I had. Because I thought this was an okay episode overall, mm-hmm. but it really made me like readjust my whole like stance on this show. Uh huh. Like I don't feel like it's the same kind of show I thought it was going in. Um, yeah. This episode made me feel like I was watching Naruto. Like, a lot. I know what you mean. I know what yeah. you mean. Like, just the whole... Especially because I, I watched Boruto a couple months ago. The first ten mm-hmm. episodes. And this felt a lot like Boruto. Um, where they have to fight, like, an older, you know, skilled person to test yeah. their might. And then at the like at the end, it turns out, oh, they were just a good guy and, like, nothing's really... Nothing was really at stake. And, uh, you know, we're learning that our, our character has a curse of destiny. And what, what bothered me the most, though, mm-hmm. is the very beginning of the episode. We have the Black Whistle, the, like, uncle guy. And mm-hmm. he was... He's saying, like, hmm, I, I sure hope Ozen doesn't tell them, like, this true thing. Maybe I should have gone with them despite their protests and i heard that and i was like wait a minute i don't remember them like i don't remember that being on the table that he would just (laughs) go with them like first of all why would they refuse that if he had offered it yeah there's no reason to they probably would have just been like oh you'll take us to the bottom cool you know like why is that a thing that's ever an option and that really killed like some of the tension for me just knowing that they've got this really strong guy who at any point could just come down and help them you know well i i guess it's maybe too late now only except at the end of this episode like they're like okay we're just going to spend 10 days here doing something we're just going to do yeah. that now training arc or something i don't yeah. know what the fuck that's about yeah and, and then once we have like when when the tension breaks on ozen and we find out She's just testing them, you know, and uh, yeah, she's actually yeah. on their side. I was like, well, okay, now they've got one of the insanely powerful white whistles t- helping them out. Like, suddenly they've yep. got people on their side. When, like, when they went down into the abyss, it was like they were sneaking off. They could not tell anybody because they would be brought back to the surface. Like, this is an unsafe thing they're not supposed to be doing, and yeah. no one's on their side. Um which made it scary. But now suddenly it's like we got a white whistle, a black whistle, her the white whistle's whole team, you know, mm-hmm. and they're going to have a whole training arc and it's like, oh, and by the way, Rico uh, is a reanimated corpse who may or may not yep. even be human. So like all of the things that were really terrifying going into this have kind of subsided now. And but at the same time, I have to wonder if maybe we just Maybe it was never supposed to feel that unnerving. It's just that the rumors about the show had made it feel that way, you know? Because, like, I went into this having heard people talk about how, like, how brutal and dark the manga gets and uh, torture porn and all that. But now I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, I hear stuff like this all the time, but this is no berserk. I don't think this is ever going to be (laughs) berserk, you know? Like, I know what you mean. I, th- I I get the feeling that a lot of people are, like, seriously disturbed by the whole stillborn thing, revelation that she was, re- like, revived by this Because that was one of the things, like, this episode when people were saying, like, some of our comments were like, oh, but yeah. when you find out what's in the white box, it's going to be hoo-hoo-hoo. And I was like, 
okay, she's a she's an undead girl. Like that's not weird. Like as a revelation to have in this show, you know, it's cool. Um, it's a really I, interesting thing. I, I thought I didn't it was think pretty it was crazy. Like, it yeah, didn't seem like I, I, gross or dark or like whoa. It was like oh yeah, that's really yeah. interesting. Like it was just like another world building tidbit. Like oh that's cool. She's like a zombie, I guess. Like it didn't <laughs> yep. fucking you know. It didn't have the effect people were like building it up to have. And so now that's I'm true. wondering like how much of the shit that people say about this show is like actual, you know? And should yeah. I have been going yeah. into this expecting it to be like I don't know, uh, the way people talk about it, I thought like consistently we'd be seeing like really dark fucked up stuff happen. Um and in this episode when Ozen's beating the shit out of the kids, like there's a little blood, but there's never like a giant sense of like grimness to it. Um, the fight is well, kind of all in... Well, that's not totally true. I mean, Ozen deliberately, you know, tried to set the scene as being like, I am going to murder your friend now, and, yeah. you know, and the fact that she also legitimately bloodied Rico in that exchange and knocked her out, like, that's, yeah. you know, that that's some serious aggression. That, at the time, I was like, wow, that is a lot of blood. And, yeah. you know, obviously, like... It's sort of that thing where you look at it afterward, and it's like, okay, in retrospect, none of that was really, like, that bad. She she didn't, like, actually yeah. murder anyone, but it was designed to unnerve us, and I was certainly concerned I mean, about how I, things were going to go. I believed that she wanted to kill um, Robot Guy Me in too. Reg. Me too. But, like, the way the scene was staged and everything, like, it's it's still pretty brightly lit. The, the way that things are happening is, like, um, first of all, the mm -hmm. animation is kind of shit in this episode we've gotten this this episode is a little cheap there were action lines you know characters yeah, are getting were. thrown against action line backgrounds <laughs> and like it just didn't feel like a scene where someone was gonna die to me you know it didn't feel like a scene where like i'm supposed to be like oh shit this mm -hmm. is real this is really happening like he's actually gonna shoot her and she's gonna like he's gonna shoot ozen and she's gonna die yeah, or yeah. or oh uh, when she turned his arm around like oh he's gonna take off one of rico's limbs like the way the scene is happening doesn't feel that way it's too you know not there's not enough gravity to it so i didn't feel that like real sense of danger that something bad was going to happen. I felt, again, like I was watching Naruto, you know? Like, I hear what you're saying. I think we disagree somewhat on this point. I, I was, I think, a little bit more, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I felt concerned. Yeah, I, I was fairly concerned. I mean, I didn't think that this was going to be the end of the road for our characters here. So uh, on, in right. that way, of course, I knew like they would get out of it in some way. But uh, I got it. Mm. Yeah, like, Ozen just, like, flipping sides and, like, being just, like, an yeah. ally to them. I gotta say, like, I really miss... Uh, I, I suppose a lot of this is tied up with my expectations of what I want the series to be. But I yeah. was really hoping to see these two kids, like, up against this just, like, absolutely terrifying world that stands before them. Where, like, everything's yeah. trying to kill them. And they only survive through, like, their the, the barest skin of their fucking teeth with everything they try to do and like reg continually taxes himself more and more and maybe like gets more and more fucked up as they keep going on and like rico yeah. has to deal with the curse more and uh, i'm pretty pretty i mean one of the things i was saying was that like i suspected that there'd be something i mean uh, the farther we go the more magical shit we learn about rico that i feel like yeah. could be an excuse to give her superpowers later on which i think is inevitable with this, uh, like, like I've been happen. talking, I've been, I've been talking about like power level stuff, and as they go down further, they have to increase their power level, or it won't make yep. any sense, or they'll just. I mean, like, they're about they to go training, dead. so that's definitely going to happen, you know. But for for ten days, like, what could they possibly learn in these I ten mean, days it might that be are so some vital? Super intensive Ozen style training that's enough to get them <laughs> through level three or some shit. You it's know? one of those. Th th in this case, like uh, that particular thing seems to me like it is both. Far too much, and also, it's far too much for it to make a difference. Wait, uh, okay, I'm fucking this up. I'm trying to quote somebody. It's like, it's, it's it's wasting far too much of our time to spend 10 days doing this, and it will make so little difference, 10 days of training. Yeah, maybe there will be something magical about it, but, like, these are literal children. They need to, like, spend 10 years training before they're, yeah. like, actually ready for this shit. So I don't know why we're wasting 10 days of our time now when we could be using those precious moments of life to just, like, you know, go further down and, and yeah. just advance before they fucking die. I mean, as the scene was going on, 
There was mm-hmm. like a, a moment, because this episode is almost entirely like this fight scene with Ozen until yeah. this big reveal at the end. Oh, she's actually just fucking with you. She's a good guy. And she was Liza's mommy and all that shit, uh, yeah. basically. But <laughs> as the scene was playing out, the moment when Reg's like getting ready to shoot her with his handgun, like mm-hmm. it didn't seem like it was going to happen. But I was thinking this is, like, the most interesting way the episode could go, is if he, like, murders her. Like, if he did kill Ozen with his overpowered Mm. move, and then, like, you know, they have to face the consequences of that, that would raise the stakes exponentially. They just killed a white whistle, you know? And they probably blew up half the the station. Like, now they'd be not only having people on their back just because they're runaways, they have people on their back because they're murderers and they destroyed, like, Mm. important (laughs) pieces of of the structure, you know? But for it to go in completely the opposite direction, where, like, not only did nothing dark happen in that scene, but also they've got, like, a powerful comrade and, like, a whole squad of people. And I was just like, okay, I need to, like, significantly readjust my expectations of where this show's trying to go. Because, like, every episode, I'm waiting for the dark scene. I feel like I've always been... Because of the way people buttered this show up, like, I thought this episode was gonna have something really fucked happen. And mm-hmm. really, it's more like we had a revelation that, well, well, interesting, and, and I guess a little fucked up, that she was like, oh, she's stillborn, that's creepy. You know, yep. like, yep. it's not what I am building in my head that this show's gonna have. And now I think it's time for me to say, okay, this show's not going in that direction. It is not that kind of dark that people have made me believe it's going to be, you know? Yeah, I think there's a lot of people out there who have a, a when they think dark, they ha- they just have a much more like they're more sensitive to it. They 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 aren't prepared for as like like they're not used to like golden age uh, berserk. You know yeah. that level. If someone of, like, tells me something's dark, I'm expecting berserk or yeah. Game of Thrones. You know, like yeah. that's what I think when I think like dark fantasy. I expect to see people getting fucking killed. People I like. You know. Mm-hmm. Like, the darkest thing about this episode is the way Ozen, like, meanly describes, like, the mean things about Rico. Like, ah, I just, I didn't give a fuck about you, so I put you in and you came to life, and now you're just a fucking bizarre zombie. And, yes, that's mean. But, like, as we find out, like, she never really wanted to hurt any of them. It was just a fucking test. And, yeah, I'm sure it was really brutal in her mind, and it was was very, you know, she really beat him up. She made them both bleed. Uh, but nobody was gonna fucking die. There was no threat no. here. <sighs> so, yeah, it's a... It, I mean, and again, I don't think it's a bad episode, though. Like, if mm-hmm. we readjust to think of this show not as this, this, ooh, this, like, really creepy wading into darkness of the Abyss show, and instead just think of it as, like, okay, this is just a cool action-adventure show with a really interesting setting, then it's like, all right, well, we still got cool setting details, we learned about this this weird this zombification tube, this thing mm-hmm. that you know our char- main characters are stillborn. That's interesting, you know. How often have you, you know, seen that? You're not wrong about that, but like for me, it's very difficult to readjust my expectations once they've been set, and I yeah. really hope to get some things out of this. And and doing so is a painful process. And I just like how many fucking series have I personally seen where like it's about people like attempting some large goal and they like train and they like rise to the occasion and they power themselves up like yeah. i was so ready for a journey where instead of that they destroy themselves along the way and they just keep losing right. pieces of themselves and like everything about the premise the way like the curse fucks you up and you get like more and more personally fucked up as you go deeper that's what i want and that's what i expected right. like these are children these are not like fucking ninjas of the, in the land of fire just like trying to learn their new jutsu so they can take on like the next fucking ninja clan or whatever these guys are hurtling themselves into this like fucking cthulhu like abyss where no man has ever made it to the bottom everyone who goes too deep gets fucked up and dies or goes insane and like and and not to mention like the setting of the world we're in like is clearly more fucked up and does not value human life in the way like your average like shonen series does and there's all this like oh everyone has potential if you just work really hard you can achieve your dreams I want to watch these children fucking die in this pit. No. That's what I want to see. I want to see them throw their lives away and, the, and the fucking thing is, love it. The mm-hmm. show could still turn out to be that way. I think but it could. Yeah. If it does, then it'll feel like, 
why didn't it go there sooner? Because now right. we've got so much buildup. Like, like, like you said, with this 10-day training camp, it's like, why are we going to have our characters train if they're eventually just going to get ripped apart? Like, why do we have to see them... We already mm -hmm. felt it, it'll just lessen the tension, you know. Yeah, like the exactly. tension was so high that for them to get stronger would ease up on it. And hey, maybe that's the trick. Maybe that's how they mm -hmm. get you. But I don't know, man. Like I, I don't want to be constantly waiting for the the gotcha uh, that might never come. You know. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I'd rather just get got. <laughs> if it happens, <laughs> I'd rather just assume the show is Naruto and then have it fucking clamp shut on me. Um. You know, if I'm wrong. I think that's smart. I, I personally, I actually do think that it's going to... I, okay, what I think is that I think we're currently experiencing a little bit of bad writing. A little bit of, like, treading water instead of, like, advancing. Like, I think this yeah. is, like, a little bit of an aside where we're going to do some stuff. I, well, like, they're I going to learn some skills or whatever. Yeah, go on. Some people said about the last episode, because we complained about it being, like, insanely slow. Um, yeah. Some of the manga readers were telling us that that episode was literally one chapter. Like, they stretched it out, mm, like, mm. ridiculously. I, I don't know why they're doing that in what is apparently a 13-episode show. Like, maybe there's a, a specific moment that will make a good ending of the season that they're hoping it's gotta to use. It's got to be something use. like that. Yeah. But um, I don't know. But, like, the last episode was boring, and, and like, several people said it shouldn't have been that way. Like, they could have easily fit two chapters of the manga in that episode, and they didn't. And one I wouldn't be surprised from... if this was also one yeah. chapter, because it felt like it, you know? I, I, I agree. Uh, if there's one thing I've learned from my many years of watching One Piece and watching it change, like, you gotta put at least two chapters in in, like, a 20-minute yeah. episode if you want to feel like it's going somewhere. And, like, currently with One Piece, Toei does literally one chapter per episode, and it's terrible. Yeah. It's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. Because they'll take as long as they can and have, like, yeah. the, the pans go a couple seconds after they're done talking, you know, and, like, just eking out every little uh. second you can. And that's how episode six felt to me. This mm -hmm. one wasn't as bad, but, like, the fight scene just kind of dragged on for so long where it was, like, yeah. so much of characters just talking at each other, you know, and me being, like, just, if you're gonna do it, just fucking do it, you know? Are you gonna kill him, Ozen, mm -hmm. or are you gonna ch chew him out for 20 more minutes? And I still hate her voice, so that didn't help. <laughs> sure. Uh, I still like her. I don't know. Uh, I don't even I know why I liked her in the first place, but she's I didn't she's care cool. that much for the effect where her eyes and mouth go all black. I didn't think it looked that good. Um, I, I, I'm not, like, in love with it or anything. I don't know. I think it's yeah. cool. I just like her in general. She's fun. I like her, and, uh, like... I like her outfit, her armor, like, that she puts on. And yeah. she turns into Kung Lao. That's cool. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And I like that, uh, like, we explained a little bit of, of why she's got superpowers. Because she, like, yeah. has fucking cut herself in 120 fucking places all over her body and inserted relics into her body that give her super strength yeah. and longevity. And she's actually, like, I don't know, at least, like, at Old least 50. Shit. Probably, like, 70 or something at the very least. But, yeah. Oh, uh, that's cool. That's like that's some that's a little bit fucked up in like a cool way that I like. Yeah. And it's it's teaching us a little bit about like yeah, when you go deep down, like there's some pretty cool relics down there in the abyss that can give you like literal super strength and shit. I'm into it. They even explain her fucked up hair. Like they actually explain. Yeah, yeah. Like she doesn't just happen to look like a Katana Gatari character. That is what the <laughs> abyss has done to her, and her it's... method of like compensating for it. I, I like that a lot. I I think yeah. that's pretty cool. That, that's that's like what the I mean. There's stuff. still there's still lots of cool world building in here. So like when I think mm -hmm. of it as like an adventure show with a cool universe, it's still a really cool universe. Like the abyss is still a great idea. The mm -hmm. curse of the abyss is still really interesting. Like the different ways it affects people. Um, you know the idea that you can use artifacts in the way she has done. Like. We don't know shit about artifacts so far, other than the, like, trinkets you sell. Now, yep. suddenly, yep. they're, like, weapons and shit. Um, I think we'll probably see Rico get an artifact. That'll be what her power-up is, is that she'll exactly, find an yeah. artifact she can use to uh, fight with. For sure. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm just... Uh, I really hope they, they get a little denser with the episodes, uh, and I... Yeah. Mm, I'm, I'm concerned about this, like, t spending too much time in one place, because I don't think it plays to the strength of the narrative that well. I think Neither. we... I want to see these two children be destroyed on this journey. Uh, I mean... I think that's... I wouldn't have minded two episodes at Layer 2, but why mm -hmm. all in... The, uh, like, 
like one room a piece, you know? Like, yeah, this yeah. is an adventure series. We talked about this in episode six and the previous, but like just a montage is, is a is an amazing scene in this show, you know? Yeah. I just want to see this world. And we've seen very little of this world in the last two episodes, and that's been a disappointment. I very much agree. And I was just thinking how I would love this 10-day training thing. Like, please, let that be a montage, if anything yeah. is. We do not need to see, like, much detail that happens there. Uh, let's hope that they uh, fucking do it. Let's hope By the way, at the very gums. beginning of the episode, I had been pissed off that they had cut mm -hmm. to the Black Whistle guy explaining shit to the, the two kids at the very yeah. start. Because, first of all, I was like, this could have fit in the last episode... And it would have taken us, you know, done anything to that episode. So anything right, else was right. happening. Um, <laughs> and also, it wouldn't be cucking me out of figuring out what's in the fucking box for the first two minutes of this episode, you know? Like, yeah, I wanted right. them to open on the reveal of the fucking box. Um, By the way, I just wanted to say how cool the design of the box is. I don't know. It's like neat. It was just, it's real nice. It's got this weird, like, fucking red, goopy stuff inside that like yeah. breaks and reveals that whole I, I i don't know that that thing was fucking dope what i thought um, was most interesting about that is mm -hmm. that it seems like it could obviously take other shapes like yeah yeah like it takes this one particular shape but it's like the the way it moves like it could be totally malleable so like maybe that thing can have other uses that we'll find out about Maybe that thing could be some sort of transportation thing that they use to go deep down to the abyss or something. Yeah, I don't know. Who I don't knows? Know. Could be any. I feel like it's going to be important, though, because there's been a lot of discussion about that thing. Yeah. When the fuck are we going to meet the bunny girl who's on, like, all the advertising and the ED? <laughs> I was just thinking that's probably just going to be like when they get to layer three, they're going to. It's got to be, gonna this be how season. the show ends. Like, is that how the season's going to end? Is meeting our like oh, other Jesus. main character? Like, it's, how it's far along be can close. it be? I'll, I'll tell you right now, though, I don't see us getting much beyond, like, maybe the start of Layer 4 by the time this series ends. That's yeah. my prediction right now. I feel like there's going to be some kind of arc for the last few episodes, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, how this was kind of a little arc here, this last two and a half, so mm -hmm. I feel like there's going to be maybe another one or two arcs that round out the season, and will end on something relatively climactic. And hopefully there'll just be a second season announcement at the end of the show. But If there isn't, God, will that be a fucking disappointment. Though I guess yeah. it'll give me an excuse to just read the whole manga. If Yeah, if there's no second season of this, I would probably... Even if there is, I'd be tempted to just go read the manga. Just because, again... That's kind of like, how I'm feeling, too. If, yeah. if the show stays as slow as these last two episodes have been, I'm like, well, at this point, it's not... Like, when it started... I was thinking, like, well, I would never read the manga of this. The show's fucking beautiful. Like, yeah, why yeah. would I ever do that? <laughs> but now I'm starting to be like, all right, I could just put on the soundtrack and read the manga, you know? Yeah, I'm sad to say that's how I'm feeling, too. I'm a big... I generally prefer reading manga to watching anime. People and like, tell this me the really artwork is not... glorious mm -hmm. of the manga, so... Yeah. Also, there was another reference to stringing someone up naked and whipping them again this yeah. episode. That was cool. I guess that's just a thing. Oh, maybe that's how... Uh... Well, actually, I was going to say maybe that's how Liza learned, but that's not true. Maybe I guess everyone just does this. That's just like a cultural yeah. thing. That's this is cool. what they do here. I like it. <laughs> that's how you punish kids. And I was glad to see, uh, just in general, like they showed some human beings that weren't just like the three characters. Like we saw other characters. Yeah. Like they do exist. They are real in this village. So only three? Only three in this like quote unquote village? But whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> it's yeah. something. And they're all her all right. teammates, but they were hiding or something. Yeah, they they were letting her do her magic and shit. The subterranean mm. bandits. Yep, there it is. All right, well, uh, I guess that's about it. That's all I, I, I got to say about this thing. Good, yeah. Got some concerns. Got some concerns. It's, a, it's an okay episode, but it really paints like the show in a different way for me. I'm, I'm just so much less worried about the characters and like more resigned to, to think be, about God the damn world. It. Yeah. I want to be haunted by their fate every fucking day. Like, at the end of episode three was, like, the most magical fucking moment. God, I fucking loved it. I want it back. Yeah. I don't know well, if I'll ever get it back, though. We'll see. We'll we see. keep our hopes up. All right, yeah. everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye.